in the first chapter uh, we will discuss about models measurements and factors so the i'm not going through everything in detail but i will be covering in this short video very important thing you need to know from chapter one so basically i will talk about units standards uh, then I will go over significant figure, significant figures, and finally about vectors. So these are uh, three to four most important thing you should learn from chapter one. So to measure anything, you need some unit, some standard that we call units for example let's start from first one which is unit uh, for example you have to measure the length right distance between two points points a and b you need some standard otherwise it will be difficult to measure exactly what is the distance between these two points even if you measure by some non-specific non-standard units um, it's inconsistent right if you measure by using your hands that's what our ancestors did um, it will be inconsistent because the length of the hand that is called cubit will be different for different people so we need a kind of standard which is same for everyone every human being okay so uh, we uh, discovered some unit which we call meter suppose that this is one meter right so one meter is defined you can read the definition of the one meter what is one meter <clears throat> from your textbook I'm not gonna uh, going into details of those stories so I will just talk about the SI units which is a standard international system of units so basically uh, there are seven fundamental units uh, to measure distance distance We use meter. Uh, symbol is M. To measure mass, we use kilogram, which is denoted by kg. To measure time, uh, we use seconds. Okay, so these are SI units second so mass meter kilogram and a second so these three are also called mks system or also you can say like metric system metric system of units in complete set of fundamental units there are some other units like the unit of temperature temperature is Kelvin denoted by K is capital K so in general life you might be using different units for example the temperature is measured in degree Celsius or Fahrenheit but in science in the physics specifically we use Kelvin which is the standard unit SI system of the unit electric current current is measured in ampere denoted as M, uh, a capital a light intensity
candela so denoted by cd and amount of matter is mole mole so all together we have unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 5 6 and 7 so these seven units constitutes the fundamental si units all the other units can be composed from these fundamental units and we call them like derived unit okay derived units so what is derived unit for example if you need some unit for other uh, physical quantity for example uh, area you use two meters meter times a meter which is meter squared right if you need unit for volume you'll be using three meters which is meter cube right so these are all derived units for example another unit like density you'll be using like kilogram divided by meter times meter times meter right which is kilogram per meter cube so this is the si unit of the density so uh, when you are dealing with any kind of measurement you must use si system for all the parameters that are involved in the equations okay if you use different units for example SI, si units for mass measurement and some other units for example um, british system or cgs system for length measurement or velocity measurement your equation will be wrong you will be getting some wrong answer okay so that's why always while dealing with the problems solving problems real world problems or textbook problems you always have to be consistent consistent right that means use the same set of fundamental units which is well accepted international system of units fundamental units uh, there are so many applications of uh, unit analysis uh, one important thing is you can check the correctness of let me write down application of units unit analysis let's say so there are several but i will uh, <clears throat> discuss in more detail about checking correctness of physical equations physics equations we can call it physics equations okay so let's say you have an equation and you don't know whether that equation is correct or not even if you are not familiar with that equation you can derive that equation you don't know the physical significance of that equation you can check whether it is correct or not if you know the uh, units okay so let me get uh, one example suppose velocity is equal to final velocity is equal to initial velocity times acceleration times t if you don't know about all these parameters what is final velocity what is initial velocity acceleration and time don't worry about it in chapter 2 and chapter 3 we will be dedicated dedicate our time to understand these variables and derive all these sorts of equations okay so these two are velocities so velocity this is final and this is also velocity but this is initial initial velocity this is 
acceleration and this tiny guy here is time okay so uh, <clears throat> let's write down the equations for all these variables so what is unit of velocity if you don't know at this time you can get help from your textbook or somewhere i'm writing here uh, uh, the unit of the velocity is meter per second which is uh, in the SI system and initial velocity it's the same unit meter per second and here are two different I'm writing the uh, unit equation for this equation right this variable equation meter by second equal to meter by second plus see here here is different thing acceleration and time okay it looks like their unit will be different but you will be surprised when i actually write down the uh, unit equation uh, for this term acceleration times t meter divided by second square is this si uh, unit of acceleration and uh, si unit for time is second right one second is cancelled with this one second and you will be ended off with a meter divided by meter divided by second okay equal to meter divided by second plus meter divided by second see here what do you find the unit of all the terms the term one on the left hand side and right hand side ms plus ms right all the terms should have same units this means that this equation is this equation is correct okay if i'm getting let's say some different value let me go back and make it a little bit wrong let's say i squared this one by mistake in your text uh, you know test uh, when you prepare let's say the formula set you write it uh, wrong some equation this way you are using this equation and you thought uh, or mistakenly you write down like t squared when you actually check it what will happen this will be squared that way these two will be cancelled and you will be ended up with meter by second equal to meter by second plus meter right because second square was cancelled by second square on the denominator so this is not a right equation so there should be some mistake somewhere and you, you can go back and you will get chance to think over and correct your physical equation okay so in this way you can check uh, several physical equations you can write it down in your textbook go to chapter 2 chapter uh, chapter 3 and if you don't know you know the units of velocity acceleration momentum or whatever uh, parameters or variables are there in the, in, in 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 an equation you can search in google or find it from textbook okay uh, once you know unit you can insert the value of those units and uh, write down the equation in terms of their units if units of all the terms are same we can call it that equation is correct equation okay so this is one of the most important application of unit analysis we can also call it dimensional analysis i am not using different symbol when i call dimensional analysis uh, i have to use different symbols i'm not talking about that part uh, uh, so this is something like you know apple will be equal to apple plus apple right same in it same 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 isn't it right uh, it can't be possible like apple equal to apple 
plus orange or something like p is plus orange right so this equation is wrong this equation is right so unit conversion is one of the most important task you know you have to convert from one system of unit to the another system sometimes units are given in uh, different system and you have to convert from one to the another for that uh, let me write down unit conversion so suppose that you have to convert <coughs> Five mile into meter. How to convert it? So, uh, unit sum conversion factor. How to convert from one system of unit to the another? Uh, in one mile, there are roughly one point six kilometer. In one kilometer. there are 1000 meters so i need to know those things if you don't know everything i mean all the conversion factors like this you can look up to the tables mm, there should be some table in your textbook somewhere uh, you can find it out and locate the conversion factors for different system of units like from uh, p to a meter or mile to kilometer, mile to meters, and so on. Uh, so, how do how to convert it? See here, pi. I'm writing mile. So first, uh, I will be converting to go by step by step. I will be converting like mile to uh, kilometer. So one mile divided by one mile okay so my goal is to cancel this mile and a mile and to convert one mile one mile is equivalent to 1.6 kilometer so i will be writing kilo kilometer not kilogram sorry this is kilometer okay but uh, my final goal is to convert from mile to meter that's why i still need some conversion factor which is uh 1000 meter divided by 1 kilometer right i will be cancelling this one and uh, i get meter over here so my final value is 5 times 1.6 times 1000 right so you can get multiplied uh, 5000 times 1.6 so it will be right so this is the uh, conversion five mile is equivalent to uh, eight thousand meter okay so in this way you can practice separate examples like uh, converting from let's say equation like 34 kilometer per hour to meter per second this is question for you you can try yourself right so you can try several other uh, problems related to unit conversions from uh, velocity given in uh, kilometer per hour to the meter per second or acceleration from meter per second um kilometer per minute square to uh, meter per second square and so on. so now let me talk about the second thing which is significant figure significant figure what is significant figure so uh, when we calculate something For example, we divide 10 by 3 
you will be in debt of something like this right unlimited in calculation you don't have to write down all these numbers so these are given by calculators right but when you actually measure it you can't measure all these numbers it will be very 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 accurate which is not possible you need very sophisticated instrument to measure for example you can't measure less than a millimeter one millimeter by using your meter stick or ruler right uh, that's why when you are measuring some distance by using a ruler you can't get so many numbers after decimal right if you are measuring centimeter you can just have like one number right after this decimal because when i'm saying this is in centimeter this is three centimeter plus three millimeter right if you are putting some other number over here that's not correct you can guess one number one number but if you write some other numbers that's not a correct value by using a meter scale you never measure less than a millimeter because in general meter scales are given uh, in centimeter minimum you know you can measure by using a meter scale is a millimeter okay so